And how's it going y'all? It is awesome to see you tune back in. So today we're breaking down how I edit my videos and more specifically how I edit it to store it together in my recent coffee commercial. If you have already watched my behind the scenes video off the coffee commercial shoot, you might already know that the entire shoot was done 100% in running and gunning. There is no script, no storyboards, no shot list whatsoever. We painted the shots and the story together as we moved along. So this video is something that was entirely put together in post in the edit. By the way, this won't be an in-depth edit tutorial where I teach you how to edit or how to use Adobe Premiere, but a walkthrough of my timeline to show you my thought process behind the decision making that went into putting this story together. So like you already might have guessed, I edit all my videos with Adobe Premiere and this is the timeline for my coffee commercial. Let's quickly go through what's what. So up here is where I have all my visuals put together. Above them on these adjustment layers is where I have all my color creating. By the way, I also do all of my own color creating and have a LUT pack that you can also check out with the link in the description. Down here under the visuals is where we got the track that makes up the song for the video. And these short little tracks below our song are our sound effects. So when I first started editing this project, when I start to edit any project, I always start by just hammering down my favorite shots from that shoot down on my timeline. I do this even if the entire shoot has already been scripted, written down, storyboarded, shot listed beforehand. The first cut never looks like the one we're looking at right now. The first edit that I put together for this was actually one minute and 40 seconds long. At this stage, I never wanna play with sound effects or music or add any effects to my shots, but have them play out from the beginning till the end. So I'm just looking at a long rough cut. I do this because I feel like that way I can see how my shots play together, how they play on their own, and how I can start shaping my story together. It doesn't matter if I'm editing a 15 second long ad or a longer one as I did right here. Breaking down a long or rough cut first just helps me visualize the videos I am after. Till a few years ago, I used to do this other way around, where I would try to edit my films together on one go, to the music and without seeing the bigger picture first. Doing it this way, where I lay down a long or rough cut first, really helps me see the full story and I feel like I'm getting more out of the footage I'm editing. Adding music and sound design always comes in afterwards and that is because I want the visuals to talk for themselves. Not that it would be a bad thing to have a song already in mind that you know you're gonna use but I just never want to be too influenced off the track we are adding into our edit and don't get me wrong the song you use and the sound effects you add to your shots are super super important but they are there to support the visuals and not the other way around the motivation of this commercial was about a woodworker who's handcrafting a wooden coffee cup together so he can enjoy his coffee in the moment and the way I built this edit to that moment breaks down to three parts act one the setup, act two, the rising action, and act three, the climax. I wanted the film to start slow and really just showcase the space we're in. I take my time with the first shot as our actor walks towards the table and sets down the locks he's carrying. Then as he hits play on that cassette player and looks down at the locks on the table, we know he sees an opportunity to create something. With a couple of quick shots of him drawing, we support the mood him planning this all out in his head that then leads to the final moment of him leaning on his pen for the last time before he goes to work and the film would move full speed ahead. This first act is exactly 15 seconds long and it takes one third of the entire film. The main purpose for it is to set the stage, give an idea who our character is and to set the adventure of the film in motion. And after I was finalizing the edit, I then realized I could emphasize that moment, that call to the action moment with that cassette player to set the score to rise from the background music that it was as he hits play. Now it is almost like the viewer is now listening to the music with the character. Creative ideas are flowing and leading us to act two. the rising action. This part was all about the pursuit of the goal, the journey of crafting that coffee cup, building an intriguing sequence that shows different parts of woodworking in motion. 
This sequence of shots is pretty straightforward. Choosing the right shots for this was easy to do from that long rough cut I showed you earlier. Each task he does, I wanted to cover with two shots to give a better understanding to the viewer what might be happening without revealing too much. I still didn't want to show the audience what he's actually making, but to keep that hidden. At this stage, we see that our character begins to understand and realize what he needs to do and how he can achieve the goal he's after. So why show that and not to save it for later for the climax? This is where the audience sees that wooden coffee cup for the first time. We start with an over-the-shoulder shot revealing the cup. Our character admires the results of his work as he spins the cup in his hands. This is also the first time the viewer might have an idea what this commercial is about. Though the showing of the cup was a pre-climax, but to show the reason behind all the action and motivation to build the cup in the first place comes when we reveal the shot of the coffee. That's our climax. Before he goes for that first sip though, I wanted to stay on his face with few more shots to really show the emotion he has for this moment he had worked so hard for. Also to show the viewer that the dust had settled and our character had reached his goal. Cut to shots of him enjoying the coffee, cut to revealing the brand behind all of this, giving our commercial a proper ending and understanding. Anyways, that was it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more editorial breakdowns like this. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys again on the next one.